You're up to no good. What? The only time you're quiet is when you're asleep or up to no good. That's not true. I'm often quiet. Yeah, and you're often up to no good. What are you doing? If you must know, I'm writing a uh, Christmas present list for you lot. In August? Forewarned is forearmed. Get you and your Latin phrases. I don't know about forearms. I need eyes in the back of my head with you lot. What, what I mean is... What is it, darling? Oh, my God! Bloody Nora! <coughs> oh! Morning, campers. Another day in paradise. Bloody hell, Dad. What do you think you're playing at? They're still playing silly beggars with me lost cases, so I raided hotel fancy dress box. But, Dad, the Grim Reaper? It's the only thing that fit me. I'd sweated my bollocks off in that caftan so much it practically walked a washing basket on its own. Why do you have to bring the bloody sword thing with it? Called a scythe or a sickle. Oh, shut up. Cheers. It's part of costume, isn't it? Mind you, I wish they'd had some tin of lighter colour. It's ten o'clock and cracking my ass already feels like River Ouse on a flood day. Brilliant. We've got a full day of this now. Oh, love, did I frighten you? Just a bit. Oh, you poor thing. Do you want one of them serviettes from bar to dry your eyes? OK. Right, well, when you get it, get us a round of drinks in while you're at it. There's a good lass. Here's one for you. Would you rather have sausages for fingers or no hands at all? I don't understand. There's nothing to understand. you just got to pick one. Why? What's happening? Nothing's happening. It's just a question. Who's asking it? I'm asking. It's just one of those questions, isn't it? Would you rather be deaf or blind? Mate, to be honest, I'd rather just chill by the pool. All right, boys. Sam, would you rather have sausages for fingers or no hands at all? How big are the sausages? Quite big. Can I have them on just one hand? Um, yeah. Definitely sausages for fingers. Right, I came to say hello because you two boys owe me a favour after yesterday. What happened yesterday? You backed out on my trip and lost me commission. Oh, yeah, really sorry about that, but we thought the trip was free. Who gives out free trips to Ibiza? <sighs> Look, my mate owns a bar on Cali Girona and he needs two props today. Are you two up for it? What's a prop? A prop someone who stands outside a bar and tries to get punters in. No, thanks. We've got our day planned. Have we? Yeah. Don't you remember? We're going to lie by the port all day and talk to girls. <laughs> and how much luck have you had with that so far? Well, we're just getting warmed up. We're playing the long game, in it, Joe? Yeah, man, the really long game. <laughs> well, this is perfect. I'm giving you a legitimate reason to be in the sun chatting to girls. Everybody loves the cheeky prop boys. Especially two good-looking charmers like you. <laughs> oh, I dunno. <laughs> 30 euros for a couple of hours' work. What do you reckon? I reckon these good looks and this charm is being wasted around this pool. We're in. <laughs> it's the Western Bar at the end of Cali Girona. Report to Jose, the manager, but you get paid by me tonight in Neptunes. Yeah? I might be reading this wrong, but I think I'm getting a vibe from her. She's probably got her own vibe, and if you think you can compete with that, and good luck to you, mate. I sent another email about that audition for Geordie. How many times do they need to be told, we're on holiday? Well, now they're saying we can do the audition here, an email a video. Let's have a look, Mum. Hey, nice one. Could use the iPad. My iPad is upstairs in the safe, and that's where it's staying. We're here to enjoy our holiday, not fanny around making videos nobody's going to watch. Don't be such a misery. It'll be fun. They've sent the script. We just need two grandparents. Wee! Sign me up. I'm ready for me close-up. What experience and acting have you got? Bet you've never stepped foot into a theatre. Oh, that's where you're wrong. I've been in The Crucible. Nice one, Grandad. I studied that. Who were you? John Proctor? No, Sheffield Crucible. 
Davy Taylor final 1985 went down to the last black. Now that's drama. We've got enough drama on this, Ollie, with you and Loretta at each other's throats. Quiet day by the pool will do just nicely, thank you. The commercial is set to be used in all European territories and the fee is £15,000. Can you imagine if she got it? She'll be able to pay her own school fees. Here, get up them stairs and get that iPad. The safe combination's 3821. Come on, lazy ass, we're losing light here. It went seven without course, I got everyone lemonade. Here she is, my little Oscar winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be back. Did you manage all right in the salon while I was gone? Actually, Jacqueline, it was impossible without you, wasn't it, Liam? Oh, unthinkable. Really? Yeah. Me and Liam have had to take turns nodding off in that chair. And it took us almost three weeks to find the shopping channel on the telly. Oh, you should have emailed. Oh, and as for not enough in this chair, well, I am the sleeping partner in the business. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> sleeping partner. <laughs> oh, dear me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I do wish I'd stop leaving bottles of karma out at breakfast. Leave me all gassy for the rest of the day. Right. Talking of gassy, I better go and fill up. I've got three airport runs today. Oh, and I need you to get your thinking caps on for a catchy new name for the business. Oh, I'm good at these. I've gone off Kenneth Goes all the way. It's a bit of a mouthful and people might get the wrong impression. Kenneth, I've got bookings all morning. What are we going to do about walking? Very easily solved. There you go. Whack that up on the door. Honestly, I'm an orange bob away from being Mary Portis. Oh, and Liam, did you ask around about borrowing a child seat for the car? That family with the toddlers confirmed the booking. Yeah, nobody's got one. Have you tried El Cisne? What the bloody hell is that? You know, the flea market on the road to Albir. I know what El Cisne is. I'm talking about that. Troy sent it. Derbyshire Hair Salon of the Year Award. Have we won that? We're nowhere near Derbyshire. No, don't be daft. It's for the salon in Derby. Troy said he wanted it in pride of place in Blow and Go and inspiration for us all. Ugh, I'm overcome with emulsion. Right, I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye. Does Troy know about Kenneth running a taxi service from the salon? No, but I know he's going to mention it to him at some point. Oh, don't worry about me. I sleeping partner and I don't talk in my sleep. Oh, <laughs> a cup of tea? Or a glass of kava if you're going to the bar. No problem. I'm sorry, I'm not interrupting, am I? How can I help you? Mateo, the kitchen is in absolute chaos. What else is new? I need you to go to Benisa with Leslie to pick up some joints. Some joints? Really? I am so stressed out. I've been let down by my supplier. Your supplier has let you down? Yes. Miss Temple Savage. Mm. You are really feeling the stress? Yes, I am. OK. I have one joint in my locker. Well, one isn't going to go very far, is it? No, you do not understand. This is the good shit. I beg your pardon? Maybe we can go together up on the fire escape and have it. I I'm sorry, I'm confused. Have what? The good shit. On the fire escape? Why on earth would you do that? So nobody can smell it. Mateo, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Do you make a habit of doing this? No, oh, no, Miss Tempest Savage. No more, no one a day, and always on the fire escape. Dear God. And I've been blaming the drains all these years. Right, um, meet Leslie in the reception in ten minutes, and from now on, 
You use the lava drain like everyone else. Mm, yes, Miss Temple Savage. Hello, mate. Is uh, Jose around? Yeah, he's inside. Oh, can you tell him his new props are here? Yeah, sure. One sec. Right. What's our USP? We haven't got one. We're already here. You what? Our USP? Estimated time of arrival? That's ETA. ETA? That sounds nothing like USP. Yeah, you know, USP is unique selling point. Um, They get a free shot with their first drink? No, man, that's every bar you walk past. You need a USP. My USP is my body. Girls love a bit of muscle, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Why don't you take your top off and I'll point at you? No, mate. We need to find your USP. Hello, boys. So, you are our new props. Yeah, I'm Tiger. This is Joey. OK, well, here you go. No drinking or smoking while you're out there. If you need any more flies, come inside and ask me or talk to Mario, who you spoke to before, OK? Nice one. See you later. See you later. <laughs> right. I've got an idea. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants cos the pheasant plucker's late. What are you doing? A vocal warm-up. Let's stick to she sells seashells on the seashore, shall we? What about Peter Pector... Peter Piper... Pector... Peter Piper, Peter Peckham... Oh, bollocks to it. Hey, what are you doing? It's just a bit of foundation. Bugger that. What kind of show are we making here? Don't be daft, Eddie. All the men on Downton Abbey wear makeup. Oh, I bet they do. Especially that butler who were a bit light in the loafers. All actors use it. They have to, to hide the decades of alcohol abuse. Here we go. That's it. We just need you to look your best on camera. In that case, stick a paper bag on his head. The rustling will affect the sound, but it'll be worth it. Right. Listen, you. Oh, here we go. Uh, anyone order a table for three? We could do with a tablecloth, really, look. We're supposed to be a classy restaurant. Uh, can we just get this thing started? It's got to be sent over by two o'clock. Right, who am I playing? You're playing Jodie's grandmother. I don't look old enough to play a grandmother. You are her grandmother. I know, but I don't look old enough. Do you want this to be believable or not? What do I say in it? You haven't got any lines. Hang on a minute. No lines. I cancelled a hot stone massage and a pedicure to sit in the frigging background. You're supposed to be on holiday with us anyway. No, I'm not. I'm on my holiday and I'm visiting you on your holiday. Will everyone just stop bickering and whining for one minute? Can't we all at least pretend to have a degree of professionalism? Let me know when you set everything up. I'm going over to my sunbed to learn me lines. You've created a monster. Shut up. Right. Tablecloths. But then again, the apple never falls far from the tree. <laughs> Leslie, I hope you know what we are supposed to be doing because I have no idea which so ever. Well, we're supposed to pick up some meat from a wholesale supplier in Benissa. But I've had an idea. Why am I not liking the sound of this? Look, I've got 500 euros to collect 50 kilos of meat. But I've made a few calls and I can get the same weight of meat for 400 euros. Leslie, maybe we should just go to Benissa. I am liking the easy life. We can't. I've cancelled the order. Oh, madre mia. Listen, why should Sam be the only one getting the backhanders? Backhander is like a slap in the face, no? No, oh, but she takes it as a slap in the face when she finds out we're making more money on the side than her. I thought you liked her. I do, but that doesn't mean I want a bit left behind when there's money to be made. All right, ladies. Anything exciting happening? Yeah, we're just nipping out on an errand for Temple Savage. Mmm, sounds interesting. There is nothing for the back of your hand here. I suggest you carry on with finding the lost luggage of angry, drunk people. Come along, Leslie. We have business to be attending. Yeah. Found a car seat then? Yeah. 
I had a look in lost property and there was one in there. Somebody might have left that behind by mistake and come back for it. Well, there'd be no point in them doing that. Why? Because I've got it. Have you got no scruples? Yeah, of course I have. I just get a bit lost under my bum bag when I'm lying down. You know what I mean? I mean, a conscience, morals. Look, I'm a businessman, Liam. I haven't got time for morals. I need that car seat to run my taxi business. Pretty sure you need a taxi licence, too. Small print, Liam, love. Small print. And a driver's licence helps. British points don't count over here, so I'm good to go. Thank you. Well, that's all right, then. <sighs> anyway, I've got a bone to pick with you, young man. Troy texted me earlier. Were you going to make an appearance at the salon today, or were you just going to let Liam do everything? What, and you think I told him? Well, it wasn't Jacqueline. She's had so much breakfast carver today, she can't even string a sentence together, let alone make a phone call. <laughs> Wakes you up in the morning, four letters begins with C. Well, I'm not being funny, Kenneth. You know I think you're a brilliant stylist, but you're hardly known for being the most hard-working. You're right. I think he's trying to catch me out. Do you think I should call his bluff? Yeah, uh, text back saying you're working as hard as usual. No, hang on, don't say that. Ha-ha. Nice try, Troy. But I've actually been rushed off my feet all day. Thank you very much. But you're not rushed off your feet. Yeah, I am. Chock a block with bookings all day. Just not cutting people's hair. Uh... Cock! Ah! Bloody hell! I shit myself then. Can you get Tourette's in your sleep? I think she was answering her own crossword question. Oh. Oh. This will be Troy offering up a slice of humble pie. Uh. OK, as long as you keep the door open for walk-ins, as this makes up 50% of the business. Winking smiley face. You? You told him! I haven't said a thing. Why do I care? I get paid a wage. It doesn't affect me. <sighs> it's not like I'm a partner in the business. What sleeping beauty here it is. She said she wouldn't say anything. What was Susie about that? It's easy to catch a mouse. You just need enough cheese. I'll be fine. Just give it a good rinse under the tap. Ready. Action. Hang on a minute. I need to know what my motivation is. Cheap beer and ugly women. That's where you're wrong. I don't drink beer. It blows me so it's terrible. So, you're admitting to the ugly women? If that's a crack about my ex-wife, I can assure you she didn't start out looking like that. No, but you started out looking like that, so what was her excuse? Right, that's it. Out of the way, you two. You're sacked. Sacked? You can't be sacked from something you weren't being paid to do. Yes, you can, cos I just sacked you. Can we just get on with it? Uh, hang on. If, if, if you've sacked him, who does Geordie say a line to? It's supposed to be a grandad. Well, you can do it. Me? Playing a grandad? I barely look old enough to be a father. You do look tired, Billy. Oh, don't start with that again. You could get away with early 60s. Look, if we don't get on with this now, then we're never... You what? Can we hurry up? They need it emailed by 2 o'clock. Early 60s? Early f***ing 60s? What does that make you? 100 and bloody 20? Oh, for goodness sake, it hardly matters. It's just a part you're playing. My mum's right, it doesn't matter. You play the granddad and you can play the grandmother. I beg your pardon. All oh, right. It's different when the orthopaedic shoe's on the other foot. Hang on a minute. Where's our Jodie? Jodie Dawson. Granddad, can we go to the park tomorrow for my birthday? They got a new playground there and I'd love to go. Well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? <laughs> You're right, darling. We're just getting everything ready for you. It's all done. Can you email it to the address I gave you, please? Very happy to help. And when you get that, you need to forward it on to me, Agent. Uh, of course, will do. Yeah. Mum, if anyone calls me, I'll be on the swings. OK, darling. You can see who wears the trousers in your house. <laughs> Right, 
that's airport run number two done. Time for a coffee and a suck on me vape. A suck on who? Me vaporizer. Oh. Now, I've been thinking, if it's not Jacqueline grassing me up to Troy and it's not you, who is it? You give it a rest. No, I will not give it a rest. I feel like I don't turn me back on anyone. It's like being in the pink trombone on jockstrap night. Oh, so you're open now. Somebody at the reception was asking earlier. Yeah, but I'm sorry, we're not doing any walk-ins today, Joyce. Lovely Liam's rushed off his little ginger feet, bless him. I'm just telling them you're open. Whether you're actually doing any work is your own affair. You really think he's got someone spying on you? Of course! Since the day he took over the lease on this salon, he's been on my back about every little thing. Why don't you answer your phone? Why is the salon never open? Honestly, it's relentless. Well, both of those are quite reasonable requests. Oh, so you're on his side, are you? I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just saying if I was paying the rent and bills for this place, I want it to be open every day. Liam, we're in Spain. It's not my fault they have a fiesta every time the mayor farts. Don't leave Mary's dye strips in too long, or she'll end up bright yellow like the last time. <gasps> Do you believe me now? Well, maybe you're right. <gasps> Temple Savage! Well, what about her? She's a mole! Well, don't say that, I think she looks lovely today. Oh, no! A squealer, a rat! Temple Savage is the spy! No, she doesn't even know Troy. Oh, hang on. It's the 15th of the month, isn't it? 12 o'clock on the 15th, Mary comes in every month at the same time to get her roots done. That's true. He's pulling your leg, Kenneth. <sighs> <laughs> no one's spying on us. I don't know, Liam. Something stinks. And for once, it's not Mr Wu's conditioner. Wait a minute. Ring the wrong number. I don't get it. OK, I have to go now. You must be Leslie. Uh, yes, Mr Wu. I'm Leslie. This is Matthew. And you are looking for wholesale meat. That's right. What kind of meat you want? Mr Wu got chicken or beef? Whatever is called cheap. The chickens, when they are young, tend to go cheap. The cows, on the other hand, they go moo. <laughs> Do you get it? Young chickens go cheap. Cows go moo. <laughs> hey, crazy person. Do you have meat to sell to us or no? Hey, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Mr. Wu got lots of meat. OK, let me look at the stock sheet. OK. Actually, we not got much chicken. Hmm. We not got much beef. You want camel? If you're making big pie, the hump stops the crust from sinking in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wu, only joking. Mr. Wu does not sell camel. <laughs> we got quite a lot of octopus. Mind you, very difficult to cook octopus. They keep reaching out the pan and turning off the gas. Listen, if you're just gonna sit there telling Christmas cracker jokes, we'll be on our way. OK, OK. Let me have a look. What about panda? We've got quite a lot of panda in the deep freeze. No, oh, it's gonna be fresh. We're gonna... Panda? You don't mean the big black and white furry bear? What other pandas do you get? What's that taste like? It tastes a bit like penguin, but not as fishy. <clears throat> Come on, we're off! You are a strange man. That's the problem with the British. No sense of humour. The 
there's one more place we can try, but it's in Alicante. That's a two-hour round trip, and it's time that we haven't got. Maybe I call my friend Wolfgang. He has a farm. What kind of farm? Just a regular farm with cows, chicken, goats, pigs. Well, why didn't you bloody say so? You didn't ask. Get in the bloody farm! Remember, ladies, three shots inside, and I'll be coming in for a drink with you in a bit. Make sure you do. <laughs> oh, my days, you're like the Pied Piper of Hamleys. What's that mean? It's a story about a bloke who plays a trumpet and gets followed by loads of mice and rats. Except you're doing it with women, and you don't even need a trumpet. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're all a bit middle-aged, but at least they're still going in. Out of three kisses, Gan. I won't lie to you, Tig. It's not going great. I'm smiling at all the pretty girls. We're getting nothing back. Pretty girls? Look at the monitors I'm dragging in. Mate, you need to caution it a bit wider. Oh, ladies. You look like you could do with a drink. All right, pal. Get a free kiss, do I? Well, it's kind of meant for girls, but... What the hell? Peace and love, my man. But just on the cheat, yeah? Nice one. Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm only joking, pal. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Seriously, man, it was a joke. Yo, yo, how's business, brother? Not great. Me and my mate are promoting this bar. I don't suppose you guys want a drink, do you? Well, there's 25 of us. The rest are on the beach. Oh, my days, 25 people? That would be amazing! Trouble is, Gary, the guy whose birthday it is, we played a trick on him and chucked all his clothes in the seat. <laughs> oh, that's funny! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we can't bring him in your bar and just his pants. No. They wouldn't like that. Exactly. Um, but maybe if he could borrow your T-shirt... Yeah, man, of course. I'm not even wearing it. And your flip-flops? Sure. No worries. And your shorts? Um, I don't know. There's at least 25 of us. Actually, probably near 30. Actually, my boxers look a bit like shorts anyway. Exactly. So... Right, we better get Barry the birthday boy. Uh, you mean Gary? Huh? You said his name was Gary. Oh, yeah. That's right. See you in five. Yeah, man. See you in five. <laughs> Mate, where are your trousers? I've got a big gang of lads on the way. Oh, look at her, she's so happy. Imagine if she gets this job. Well, let's not get too excited. Why not? Why not get excited about things like this? Mind you, it's going to be very tricky if she gets really famous. You are. Well, you see now they hound these celebrities. They don't get a minute to themselves. She's auditioning for an advert for adult nappies. I don't think we're going to have to go ex directory just yet. She's going to get it. I just know she is. Who is it? Number withheld. Well, answer it then. Well, she hasn't got it. Answer the phone. Well, she has got it. Oh, answer the phone. They wouldn't ring so quick if you didn't like it. Oh, for God's sake. Hello, Billy Dawson speaking. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm Jodie's dad. Right. Right. I see. OK. Uh, can you give me your number? Yeah. 0207. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. OK, I got that. I'll, I'll ring you straight back. Well? She got the job. I knew it! I knew it! But... She needs to be in London by tomorrow afternoon. Well, what's wrong with that? Prices of flights to London, last minute, in high season. No one cares about that. My mother will lend us the money. Come on! <laughs> Jodie! Jodie! <laughs> you got the job! <laughs> <laughs> You've really got the sun, Jacqueline. Oh, do you think? 
thing. <laughs> yeah. Necking a bottle of cava for breakfast and crashing out for the day really agrees with you. <laughs> right, no rest for the wicked. I'm going back to the airport. I shall return. <laughs> you should get one of those car stickers that say, Little Princess on board. I'm not sure I can get away with calling myself Little anymore, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. For the baby. So all the drivers know to take a daisy round you. Jacqueline, we're in Spain. I can't put a baby on board sign up. It's like Mad Max out there. It'd be like a red rag to a bull with these lot. But generally, you do need to be extra careful now, Kenneth. It's not just yourself you've got to worry about. I don't know where this reputation of me being a bad driver's come from. Four out of the last six of my accidents this year have been other people's fault. Well, exactly. There's a lot of bad drivers about. I'll put the kettle on. Right, keep this blind shut while I'm gone. I'm not sure what Troy's up to, but we best play extra safe. I don't want him finding out about all this stuff when he arrives tomorrow. Gonna find out eventually. It's not exactly an easy thing to hide. Yeah, well, you know, he makes a fuss about everything. I just want to tell him in my own time when I'm ready. Adios, amigos. <laughs> They're not coming back, are they? I think so, mate. You know what really hurts? I bet it wasn't Gary's birthday after all. Probably not. I think I head back to the hotel. You won't get paid. I don't deserve to get paid, Tag. I haven't got a single person to go in. Jory, come on. All for one. And one for all. What are you doing, man? We are going to do this properly. You are a good man to have saved our bacon. Bacon? I thought you wanted chicken. If you want bacon, tell me now, because Heliger has to kill a pig. <laughs> no, no, my friend. Chicken, saving the bacon is something the English say. We have everything. Pig, rabbit, goat, whatever you want. No, please, Wolfgang. We need 50 kilos of chicken. Nothing must go wrong with this. It's no problem. And Wolfgang, the chickens must be dead. We have had problems before. Mateo, you worry too much. You see Helga, my sister? She kills all the animals herself. What does she do? Just look at them? Ah, it's very funny. But since Helga was released from prison, the farmers never made so much money. Here's your change. Change? Of course. Always the best price for you, my friend. Hey, your sister, what was she in prison for? Oh, seven years. No, I mean, what did she do? I tell you, some questions it is better not to ask. OK, we can deliver in one hour. I'll come back then if you want to collect yourself. No, I, I would like you to deliver to the Solana. I have developed a sudden aversion to farm jet life. Oh, my days. I'm beat. Yeah, me too. When do we get our money, dude? I need to buy me some new threads. It's not until tonight. I'll borrow my flip-flops and walk back if you want. Nay, I couldn't do that. Let's go arms. <laughs> oh, man, you're the best mate anyone could wish for. We are the best team any bar could wish for. Damn right. <laughs> Let's go. I can feel an all-inclusive beer coming on. Yeah, man. Adios. Hey, where you going? You missing the party? The big party calls by us? The prop boy dream team? Are you all right? What are you both doing here? 
What do you think we're doing here? She got a point tag. We should have finished 20 minutes ago. We're going back to the Solana to celebrate. You coming for a drink? What exactly are you celebrating? A job well done. Just look at the place. It's heaving. Impressive. Very impressive. If it want the wrong bar... Say what? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. You said the Western Bar, the end of Calais Girona. This is the end of Calais Girona, and that's the only Western Bar. First of all, this is the beginning of Calais Girona. The hotel is there, so this is the beginning of Calais Girona. This is not called the Western Bar. It's called Cowboys and Indians. Well, it's a Western Bar. Hang on. We spoke to the manager, and he was expecting us. Is there a problem? Oh, here we go. You said you were expecting us, didn't you? No. There you go, maybe some... What? You came to my bar and you said you were in your props. What kind of bar manager would I be if I stopped people who wanted to work? Especially for free. You knew we were at the wrong bar. Have a good day, boys. Oh, and thanks for the business. Yeehaw! Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Meanwhile, I've got Jose, the manager of the Western Bar, going crazy because I let him down. Right. It's a ten-minute walk. If you set off now, he might be all right about you doing a couple of hours. Sorry, Sam. We're off. We're knackered. Can't just... Don't worry about the money. You can pay us tonight like we arranged. Jerry, let's just go. Oh! Oh! What do you mean you've got no money? Just as I say, I'm spent up until my next pension. You've got to be joking. You're always spraying your money around. I know. That's why I don't have any until my next pension. How am I supposed to get £466 in the next few hours? Haven't you got a credit card? It's maxed out. Looks like I'm not the only one who sprays money around. Look, I might have an answer, but I'll have to be the one to go back with her. What do you mean? I've been saving up air miles for years. I'll probably have enough, but only for two tickets, and I have to be one of the people travelling. Well, what do you say? It was the 3rd of September That day I'll always remember Yes, I Well, I have to thank both you and Leslie started out as quite a sticky wicket, has turned into an unmitigated success. We have been, as you say, saving the day. And I must congratulate the kitchen staff. This chicken stew is delicious. I've never tasted anything like this. Try it. Mind you, they did get a bit carried away and forgot to make a veggie option. <laughs> yes, Les is in the kitchen now, fixing this. Yeah. Is everything all right? It is good. Very good. But, hey, what is wrong with the stew? Nothing. The stew is good, <laughs> but the chicken is not chicken. Well, what of the scent? It's conejo. Conejo? How do you make stew out of that? No, conejo. What kind of meat is it? It is, how do you say, baby rabbit. You've made a stew out of baby rabbits? Yes, it's normal. It's typical in Spain. But the English? No. They are not liking this. Listen, everything will be OK. As long as all the staff know not to tell anyone that they're eating baby bunny rabbits. Do you understand? I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry about the position you've been put in lately, Jacqueline. Oh, don't worry about me. I've been in more positions than a Russian gymnast. No, I mean about Kenneth and his taxi runs. You are a partner in Blow and Go. He's got such a cheek telling you not to tell Troy. I wouldn't blame you if you have. Have what? Told Troy about Kenneth's taxi business. Oh, don't be daft. I've got no money invested in the business. Troy just made me a partner to make me feel included. I thought you were annoyed when you didn't answer my text earlier today. I didn't get a text off you. Did you not? Honestly, these bloody Spanish mobiles. It said, um, hey, Jacqueline, Thanks for keeping Kenneth's little secret. He'll tell Troy in his own time, but he's so stressed and tired with the late nights and early mornings, he doesn't need Troy criticising his choices right now. Any more thoughts about a name? No, I didn't get that. 
Oh. Oh, sugar. What? I sent that to Troy by mistake. Look at that. The sweet smell of success. It's 200 euros there. And you said this taxi business was a bad idea. Oh. Right. Food. Oh, Matteo, love. Mm -hmm. I'll have the steak and kidney pie and to follow. Oh, we have slight problems in the kitchen today. We only have a stew or veggie surprise. Oh, stew. Don't know if I fancy that. What kind of stew? Just regular stew. And what kind of meat is it? It's what we are calling mystery meat. It's fun for the children, no? Veggie surprise for me. Yeah, for me as well. I'll go with the mystery meat stew. I think I've had every kind of meat going, so I might be the one to solve the mystery. Muchas gracias. Benny Dawes' very own Motown Jonathan there. He'll be back later. But first, the star of the show is you. <laughs> it's karaoke time, starting in five minutes' time. OK, one mystery meet this too. I was veggie surprised. Oh, I didn't beg into pardon. And one veggie surprise. Do you need anything else? No, I'm OK, thanks. Excuse me, I'm going to sound really stupid here, but this veggie surprise looks like it's got meat in it. Yes, I know. This is the surprise. Uh, oh. Actually, as surprises go, you've got to admit, that's quite a good one. Mum, I'm too excited to go to sleep. You are going to bed right after our tea. Here's that bloody waiter. You excited about going to London, Jodie? Oh, all right, we're all excited, but that's enough. And you don't mind going with your nana, darling? I told you, I don't mind who I go with. Oh, we are all so proud of you. What's this? We haven't told you yet. A special stew for everyone tonight. Oh, what uh, kind of stew? Oh, get it, Hetton. Did the people starving in Halifax? Mmm. <sighs> mm. Mate, I'm not feeling this stew. I'm gonna try the veggie surprise. <laughs> oh, there you are. I didn't recognise you with your clothes on. Listen, that wasn't our fault today. We made a genuine mistake, and okay, it was the wrong bar, but we packed the place out, and I think we did a good job. Calm down, don't get your mankini in a twist. I bring good news. Jose from the Western Bar was pissed off you didn't turn up, but the bar opposite where you were was so impressed with the crowd you pulled that have asked if you can work for them a couple of hours tonight. I don't know. I think we've had enough for one day. What'd you say, Joey? My old man always said, why spend money when you can be earning it? <laughs> <laughs> why not do both? I tell you what, why don't we do it all together? Wouldn't mind seeing you in your pants again. What about me? I want talking to you. Right, we leave in ten minutes. But first of all, I feel a song coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, just before I start us off with the karaoke, I've been asked by a few people about the food being served this evening. We're glad you're enjoying it. And if you want to make it at home, just see your favourite barman, Matteo, who'll be pleased to give you his recipe for a little baby rabbit stew. Oh Is it oh. a kind of dream? Driving along with the wind in your ear and the sound of children screaming drowned out by banana rama on the sound system. You wonder why you spend most of your days cooped up in that salon, you really do. You're not thinking of leaving the salon, are you? No, don't be ridiculous. Some things in life you can't fight, I was born to style. But I am going to tell Troy tomorrow that I'm going part time. Thanks, love. Did you hear what Sam said? It's all rabbit. Doesn't bother me. There's not much veg in it for stew, is there? Mind you, if it is rabbit, probably ate all the carrots. 
Ooh. Another text from Troy. So excited about seeing you tomorrow. The champagne will be on me for us to celebrate the pitter patter of tiny feet. So that's why he's been sending angry, stressed out messages. Why? Well, I know him and Gavin had talked about it, but I can't believe he's done it on his own. He's adopted a baby. And the new series of Benidorm is back in two weeks. The Nightly Show is next here on ITV tonight with this week's host, Davina McCall, and joining her this evening, funny man Paddy McGuinness and the outrageous Julian Clary. Join the early St. Patrick's Day celebrations in Essex over on ITVB next as Lydia and Gemma face off in The Only Way is Essex. Oh.